What an honor it is for Harrisburg to have been selected number four in the entire country in terms of the best places for uh, military retirement. Uh, it's, uh, it's stunning to be on the same list with places like Austin and San Antonio, Texas. But you know, I was just in San Antonio, Texas, and I have to say, while they have a beautiful river walk, most of it is, is, uh, is, is sort of man-made and engineered. And the, one of the beauties of Harrisburg is our Susquehanna River and the gorgeous walk that goes along that river and the sort of natural situation of our city along the Appalachian Trail and as the river cut through the mountains. And uh, Harrisburg is indeed a wonderful place to retire. Yes, we honor our veterans and um, you, you couldn't find a more patriotic part of the country. But the cost of living in Harrisburg is just so much less expensive than anywhere else, including some of the cities that also made that list. The proximity of Harrisburg to Philadelphia and Washington DC and Baltimore and New York City is, is unparalleled. So if you're looking for a place to retire which is affordable, which is uh, uh, in good proximity to, to, to all the uh, major metropolitan areas of the East Coast, you've got to consider Harrisburg. And when you're looking for a beautiful natural setting, uh, a, 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 a historic architecture, a, a, a quality uh, city to come and visit between the capital and all the other attractions we have. Um, uh, why not consider Harrisburg? And what a, what a fantastic way to, to have our city affirmed by becoming fourth on this national list. It is indeed an honor and uh, I agree with it. I can't think of a better place for military families to come and retire than Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. A list has been compiled for veterans and military. Joining us now to talk about it, we have Eric Eversall, and we also have Eric Enquist. They're going to tell us a little bit more about this list. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Glad to be here. Well, talk a little bit about the significance in developing a list like this. Well, this year we've created three separate lists, and this is the fifth year that USAA has built Best Places lists for veterans to really give them uh, tools and resources to make well-informed decisions as they're separating. And this is a great time to consider that because we see the military continues to draw down. Over the next five years, we'll have more than 1.5 million active duty service members leave the military and join the civilian workforce. This year, we've really created three lists to address all life stages of military service members. We have one list that really allows them to capitalize on the post 9-11 uh, GI Bill benefits and go back to school. We have a list that's really geared towards those who are seeking a career. And then we have a third list for retirees that have 20 or more years of service that are looking to settle down, perhaps build a second career, but more importantly, capitalize and maximizing their military benefits. So talk a little bit about some of the things that went into making these lists and what the factors were that you guys looked at. Sure. You know, when we started out with, at least on that educational list, Scott obviously got a heavy, edu uh, heavy focus on education, uh, what universities and schooling opportunities exist in those, uh, in those locations, uh, GI Bill enrollment. Uh, we also wanted to focus on careers and job opportunities as well. But the, that first list for those service members that spent four to six years in the military, we really wanted to focus on heavy ed education uh, focus. And then uh, the second list is really about career opportunities, heavy, heavy focus on uh, jobs and management opportunities. And then third list for that retirement list, uh, how can they maximize their, their military benefits or retirement benefits, what career opportunities uh, exist out there, what government jobs. Uh, we find a lot of uh, retired uh, veterans often go into government jobs. So that's how that third list is a little bit different than the other two. Gentlemen, talk about how skills that uh, these individuals learned in the military can translate over into the civilian workforce. Well, you know, you look at our young service members, our service members in general, uh, and they know how to lead, they know how to make decisions in tough environments. Uh, they have good uh, technical skills as well in many instances, whether it's uh, being a mechanic or, or uh, operating very sensitive uh, telecommunication equipment uh, and, and radio equipment. Uh, so they have good hard skills uh, and, and good soft skills. I mean, those leadership opportunities, being reliable, understanding how to get the job done in the toughest of circumstances are all great, uh, great attributes of our military. And gentlemen, where can our viewers go to find out more? 
Uh, the list is available at usaa.com slash best places. They can access these lists as well as the Hiring Our Heroes website that gives them additional resources including upcoming job fairs and employment opportunities. All right, no doubt some very important information for our veterans. Eric Eversole from the United States Chamber of Commerce and Eric Enquist from USA's Executive Director for Military Transitions. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you.